Look out! Try taking my drink. Oh, you look thirsty. Oh, you think you're real tough too, huh? Real till I crack you. Still think you're tough? Howdy. Ain't interested. Hey, partner. We must start thinking. Stop believing. Stop dreaming. Start thinking. The whole world is a single integrated system and we are destroying it. Yes, I know, it sounds like madness. But I assure you, I am not mad. Whatever you may think, it's time to save the world. Hello. Did you read the book? Well, I opened it, but I didn't understand much. That's more than most. Much more than most. It was kind of interesting. Did you like the bit about the baboons causing the downfall of ancient Rome? Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite brilliant, I think. Yes, it's one of my more outlandish theories, but it's quite, quite true. I'm thinking of another volume. Well, oh, there's another volume of a unifying theory of scientific knowledge? Yes, I, I know it needs a new title, but I've got a great bit about how this new craze for dental hygiene Whoa. will make our pets homosexual. Huh. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wanna buy something? We need science to see. Have fun reading. Tell us. There is good science and there is bad science. And that is really the point. Machines have done a lot of great things and a lot of bad things. Yeah. Machines are not the problem. Who used them?
Okay then, girl. Something. You better not drop it. You better not. Come on, you pair of cream pop. Do you want this rally to happen or not? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Have some respect. Just leave me be. Okay, now. At least you ain't dead yet. You let me loose. Do you know now, who I am? I'm just am? gonna check your pockets. This is insanity. folk like you before. Always the first to run screaming. You don't like visitors, huh? I killed a lot of folk to keep this town free. Happy to add you to the list. Out of my sight! <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. <laughs> you twitchy! Stop that, you plebeian! <laughs> All right, all right. Next time, run away. We understand each other. Hey. You want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. 
repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. So north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Okay, my girl. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger, watch, pistol. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Mm -hmm. 
April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, The Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Paw. Oh, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Ah, uh, a trap door, huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Oh, come on, man! Where are you going? Oh. Come on! It's ours! Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January. Just his stinking pistol.
That'll be the pistol. They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just, it's all, it's all going to hell. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Oh. God. Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat? The pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please. I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um... Quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay, girl. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No. 
Certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. this thing. I guarantee you paint it. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. Ah, it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa, shot all kinds of cats, never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. Easy. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. boy.
care? Black. Better be rare. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Let's go, girl. Devil himself with all that blood. Don't you worry about it, okay? Hey, mister. You wear a blindfold when you're gazing at the mirror? <laughs> Hello, you look hungry. <laughs> Dime a dozen these days. for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Williamson. I got all the fish you fools is about to eat. I thanked you already. Wasn't that loud enough? So, did you did become you a me? sheriff, Uncle Arthur? Oh, yeah. Quite all right. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Okay, Uncle Arthur. No! I miss the calendar, boys. I miss Jenny. But the silver lining of it all is that there was no more of you. And then you come back. And that's when I realized that fate is a vindictive bastard after all. Ah, uh, you love me, really. No. No, I don't. Come here. Jesus alive! <laughs> <laughs> you keep your dirty, horseshit-eating hands off of me, or I'll stick a knife in you, boy. 
I love it when you talk nasty to me. You got a real way with women. Please, least I get some action. <laughs> All you got was a slap in the face. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Good to be warm. Sure. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. A civil war? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. Just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay.
I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, it's this way. On me. Challenge out! Yep! Go on! You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Pecklewood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks, but some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus. It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Hold! Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. <laughs> Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? I thought we were hanging back. I think I see something. End of the avenue. <laughs> 
between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Anything through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. You got men covering the house. You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Hey, move that scope over to the right. Hey, we came all this way, so can you look again and see if you spot anything? <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? All right, some tents. Hey, hey. To the left of you. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting f friendly with these folks. Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. <gasps> well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my come people. Come on, kid. Be. Now, uh, are you, uh, have you, will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get down here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darky. I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit. Praise be. <laughs> well, I tried to come in peace.
Up there on the veranda. He's going for the Gatlin. Look out, he's firing. Hell, that gun. Keep your head down, kid. I'll take the... Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing hard. There might be guns in these wagons. You got anything? Not yet. This one looks good. Search it. Now, I think we should search the crates, officer. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! I don't like it! I can't see anyone chasing us. 
I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my hey! bad judgment. Just, you worry about you. Easy, Arthur! He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but enough. I mean, Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. <laughs> 